Why use a condensate polisher? Again, condensate polisher will save fuel in a, in a boiler steam plant. The typical mode of failure is, again, an annual boiler opening takes place and you have severe deposits of, of iron and copper on your boiler tubes. That leads people to ask questions, typically of a water treatment vendor, what can we do to eliminate the, the scale, the iron, on the boiler tubes? Some of, that, some of that can be addressed chemically, some cannot. Physical solution is a condensate polisher. Why use a condensate polisher? Again, fuel savings is, is key to a low pressure boiler system. You want to save fuel by eliminating the scale deposits on your boiler tubes. In our particular case, in, the, in this food plant, it was easier to divert the contaminated condensate to drain rather than let the contaminated condensate come back and continue to scale the tubes at a higher chemical cost. The iron oxides and copper oxides can be treated chemically um, at a higher cost. There are widely available polymer dispersants to, to keep uh, iron oxides dispersed in, in boiler water and to keep the deposits off the tubes. But installing a polisher basically guarantees or helps to guarantee that on annual boiler openings there will be no surprises with deposits on your boiler tubes. What can a polisher do? Earlier in the presentation we had mentioned silica. Silica cannot be removed by a condensate polisher simply because it's an anion constituent and the resins that, that's being used is strong acid cation and it cannot remove silica bicarbonate or phosphate. But again, most of your cycles of concentration of your boiler water are related to copper and iron in your return condensate. What are the challenges of a condensate polisher? Again, the condensate polisher acts as an ion exchange device and a filtering device. And the copper and iron oxides can be problematic if they're exceeded by 0.3 for extended periods of time in your condensate return lines. In that particular case, pre-filtration might become necessary to help remove these particulates before they get to the condensate polisher. Another challenge, again, it comes down to cost. For continuous flow or uninterrupted flow of polishing condensate, multiple units might be required, parallel operation of multiple units, again, which drives the cost of the installation up. Increasing condensate return. In this particular case, a low pressure boiler system, a food plant, the return rate was very, very low. Um, this was because a lot of it was being diverted to drain as a low cost measure, a rather short sighted measure, um, to avoid scaling up the boiler tubes. Again, the return rate being 20 percent, much of that um, condensate is, is dumped to drain. Um, installing the condensate polisher can basically eliminate that diversion process polish your condensate, return it back to your deaerator in the form of boiler feed water. Why is that important? Typical condensate is anywhere from 150 to 200 degrees and in any boiler plant operation you want to avoid the amount of makeup, city water makeup, you have to preheat into your deaerator. Any amount of water that's reduced any amount of city water that's reduced to heat from ambient temperature 60 degrees Fahrenheit upwards of boiler feed water temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit is fuel savings, which is what this amounts to. Returning 30 percent more condensate amounts to fuel savings. Current steam loop, again, very low return rate, 20 percent. The reason why that is we're dumping city water intrusion into the condensate. 
We have high hardness coming back, getting into the jacketed reactors, um, into the return condensate. The conductivity sensor senses anything over 50, and the motorized divert valve would divert the condensate to drain. This would happen quite often, again, resulting in approximately a 20% return, a very low return. Some of the other losses in this steam loop, not really displayed, are direct humidification and direct steam injection into the food ingredients. Again, that steam or condensate doesn't come back. Conductivity-based divert valve, this was a low-cost, rather short-sighted measure put in um, to avoid having contaminated condensate come back to the boiler. It's important to note the sample valve that's on here. Typically when sampling your condensate, it's important to, to get the temperature below 100 F and also allow the, the condensate run through the sample cooler to run probably for on the order of 24 hours before taking a sample. Sample cooler really should be located off a pressure line, meaning off a, the discharge side of a pump. Never, never want to take a, a condensate sample off the a bottom of a, a receiver or a bottom of a tank where condensate is collecting. The reason for that is you're, you're not going to get a representative sample to know where you stand with your iron and copper uh, return numbers in your condensate. So you basically need to install the sample cooler, sample your condensate properly to know where you stand. You really need to know where you are um, so you can know where to improve. The addition of the condensate polisher downstream of the divert valve essentially can eliminate the use of the divert valve in this particular case. The condensate polisher succeeded in removing the iron and copper, dissolved iron and particulate iron, and allowed for upwards of 50% return in this particular case. Again, returning the condensate allowed for the recovery of the heat and also increase in boiler cycles. The cycle in this particular case with the iron and the copper removed allowed marginally more cycles, approximately eight more cycles of concentration in the boiler. Again, that results in fuel savings. The operating conditions at this food processing plant with the amount of condensate going to drain via the divert valve opened up some obvious clear opportunities for savings. Just simply returning the condensate instead of diverting it to drain opened up some huge opportunities for savings. The energy and water chemical savings as a result of the installation of a condensate polisher are varied. Main cost or savings generated here from going from 20% condensate return to approximately 50% return, coupled with some increased cycles of concentration within the boiler, amounted to significant savings, mainly related to the fuel, and also water just because of the amount of condensate that was being dumped to drain. You can see approximately $80,000 of savings were generated with the installation of the condensate polisher and not diverting so much condensate to drain. Condensate polisher here, just to recap the physical equipment, it's single pressure vessel with the control valves mounted on the tank all stainless steel construction, the local controller, regenerated on pressure differential. Installed cost in this case was approximately $65,000 for the physical equipment and the installation of the piping and the rigging to the site. How does a condensate polisher pay? In our case, the polisher didn't physically allow us to return more condensate, it just allowed us to stop the diversion of condensate to drain. A less known savings as a result of the installation of the polisher is also increasing the boiler cycles of concentration. It has further savings related to fuel and water.